he, you know. Let's speak to him. Let's bring him in. Mr. Good. Juggernaut, how are yeah, you? I'm, I'm here. here I am. Ricky Hatton's here as well. Every, look, everyone keeps saying what a nice bloke you are, but there, there were a few a uh, few words exchanged up there as well. What, what did you say to each other? I don't know. He's just chatting crap to me, like, "Oh, how's your how's your team? Is your family okay? Are you like, I don't know. He's trying to put. Is he trying to put stuff in my head or something? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what he's talking about. He's talking beep shit. <laughs> Beginning with S. <laughs> um, that's your career heaviest weight so far. The last time we've seen you that heavy was the Michael Wallace fight, and there were sort of like a few before and after memes going around because you were a bit heavy, a bit too soft that night. No, not soft this time. How would you feel at this weight? Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe the hotel food's a bit too good. And I'm, I, like, but I'm I'm ready. I'm fit. I'm ready. I'm strong, and my engines there and everything, like the skills and stuff we've been working on, the sparring, everything's gone to plan. So. Um, I expect a, a great performance for myself, and uh, I think so is my team. You know, you don't realise you do it when you make him, when you make him weight. You say, you know, he, he, he come in heavier than he did do, but when you're making, when you when I make when you're making the weight, when you know the challenge in heavier, you don't you don't realise you do it because you know you got the challenge. You just tighten up a little bit more on your food, a little bit more on your, your strength work. You know, you, you you just you just prepare that, and you don't realise you do it. That little bit better. Yeah. It's heavier, but it's solider. Yeah. Because he you know because he knows what's on the line. It's his biggest fight yet, and you just you just everything's just a little bit tighter from your road work, your, your weights. Right. And another thing, um, muscle weighs more than fat. So let me Absolutely, just put that yeah. out there as well. Yeah, that is that is. That is I bet you are sick of the sight of him now. How many face-offs have you done with this man? Yeah, too many. This is, that was the third one, and that's enough. Oh, my God, I've probably got to do another one in the ring. Like, <laughs> he's like looking across in the other corner. You're just ready to go now, aren't you, Joe? Yeah, ready to go, ready to fight. This is the last day, last night, sleep, and then I wake up, it's fight day. This will be the last time I ask you for your fight prediction, I promise. But tell us it. I'm just going to st- stick with my guns and uh, say seven to eight. Seven or eight. Okay. Anything we want to ask Joe before we let him go? No, just like, like I said to Joe Parker, you know, I, um, I, it's like in boxing with a family, do you know what I mean? And you know, right. met, met both lads, you know, on, on several occasions, and they're two of the nicest, <laughs> two of the nicest guys you meet. Like I say, I don't think there'd be nothing nice about this fight. You know, they're two proper pros. It's a big fight. They know what's on the horizon for them both, and they're gonna, you know, they're gonna go for it. And you know. Uh, Whichever way it goes, you know, I, I wish them all the best. You couldn't ask for two yeah, better guys. And this is going to be a, yeah. this is going to be a, a, I think the styles will gel. I think the fans are going to be in for a real treat. I really do. But all the best, Joe. Yeah. Top man. Good luck, Joe Joyce. We can't yeah. wait for it. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Ismail Salas, thank you so much for joining us.